In Lesson 11, we learned about how the Holy Spirit creates faith in our hearts. We are saved through faith alone. We do not have to do anything to make God love us or forgive us. He already loves us and has forgiven our sins. By the faith that he gives through the means of grace, we trust all that God has done and benefit from what Jesus did in our place. But there's often a misunderstanding among people that think you need to do good things to make God like you or to, to ignore your sins. It's not true, and it's actually not even possible. However, that doesn't mean that doing good things is not important. We just need to properly understand why we would do the things that God calls good. Without faith, we cannot please God. So everything that we call a good work must be done by a believer, by someone who trusts that Jesus is their Savior. So when you're already trusting that Jesus took away your sins, that's where you find the motivation to do good things. Because good works are not things that we do to make God love us. They are things we do because God loves us. We can think about good works as, as thanksgiving, as gratitude to God for everything he has done and everything that he continues to do for us. And that actually will serve as a good definition for us of good works. Good works, the things believers do according to God's will out of thanks for all God has done. Good works, the things believers do according to God's will out of thanks for all that God has has done. When we live lives that thank God for his forgiveness by doing what he says is right, we are living lives of sanctification, living lives that show we are set apart by God. Life of sanctification, living a life as God's forgiven child, filled with good works. Life of sanctification, living a life as God's forgiven child, filled with with good works. When we get to lesson 19 and following, we'll talk more about the specifics of how we can thank God for his love and forgiveness. For now, we will content ourselves to say that God's forgiveness produces in us the strong desire to do what God says is right to thank him. And when we fail to do everything that we should, when we fail to do the good things that we should do, we know that Jesus has taken those sins away as well. Bring your questions about the role of good works in a believer's life, and I look forward to spending time on this with you all.